at this wonderful camp over the last couple of days. We've made beautiful collaborations. We've been picking plants, using those fibres to be able to weave beautiful designs. We've learned about the medicines that are in our plants. Our dancing has brought us together in a circle. Our meditations together and our smoking ceremonies while becoming strong mentally, emotionally, spiritually and connected as a big family. It's our responsibility to ensure that these opportunities for young people to have access to and learn about their cultural practices, which is their birthright. It's their birthright to know these things. This is what makes us strong as a community. This is what makes us strong as families. My name is Sheree Johnson and I'm a proud descendant of the Gomorrah people. It's my absolute pleasure to work with the amazing team at Speaking in Colour. This year we have brought another cultural camp to the Hunter region with the focus to build a regional alumni of young emerging leaders. The purpose of these camps is to bring Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders from across the region together to unite over cultural practices. And this year's focus in particular, we wanted to provide a focus on job readiness. What does job readiness look like? And what are some of the skills and attributes our young people needed to bring to the table? Students are always asking us about um, how they can prepare for work, interviews, what kind of questions get asked, how they dress. Um, asking for those kinds of tips. And it's, it's good to hear that some of the things we're saying at school is being reinforced, but also just some more specific examples, you know, the showing what to wear, showing how to speak, a presentation, all those elements are so important. And I think that seeing them grow in confidence by working with Speaking in Colour and then coming to camps like this is amazing. It's, it's the connections that they build. It's the hearing from the elders, hearing from community, engaging with other students, again, getting to lead in some areas, but still learning. I think it's just been amazing. The best thing about it has been seeing the absolute talent that is going to come through the ranks of our community. I think that they're also taking away some amazing, amazing tips um, and amazing insight to what it is like to apply for a job, what it is like to look for a job, what skills I'm going to need to interview well, but also what skills do I need um, to be able to perform uh, to the expectations when I get into the workplace. Uh, the camp meant to me about us as a, Aboriginal as a group of people coming together and getting to learn more about one another and the backstories of other people and your peers. The employment spin was a really eye-opening opportunity for most of us like Aboriginal people because the stats tell us that Aboriginal people are less likely to have a job and that kind of brings us our confidence down as a people, you know. So opportunities like that where they come and speak to you about what you need in a job interview, what kind of confidence you need to carry into a job interview is really beneficial for our people as a whole. Uh, my favourite part of camp would have been, you know, just connecting with mob, just meeting new people, um, learning more culture, like dance, uh, weaving, possum, and helping us with the resume of our jobs. Being around other Indigenous people helps being around community more instead of people that don't, I guess, understand and have that same connection. Yeah. Being around your people and whatnot makes you a bit more stronger culturally. It's truly amazing to see the opportunities that they have available. And this camp allows the students to realise the field potential and the avenues that it can go. To be around like a whole bunch of other black fellas as well, it was great. The environment is just crazy. It was great. It was really good, yeah. yeah. If you want to attend this camp next time, I highly recommend it. So it's a great time out. As a young person growing up around the Lake Macquarie area, it was my absolute privilege to be a part of a number of cultural camps and they were foundational to my, my teenage years. So at Speaking in Colour, we want to continue this legacy of annual cultural camps and bringing groups of young people together.